Hey guys, it's Charlie and welcome to my Teach Abroad series where we talk about working, teaching, and living abroad. Today's video is about how I grew out and cared for my natural hair while living abroad, specifically in Korea. But if you're watching this and you don't want to go to Korea, but you want to go anywhere else but Korea, <laughs> you can keep watching because this is for you too and everybody else. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so this is a question that I get a lot because if you watch my videos from when I was first in Korea, but not only when I first went to Korea, but also like a part, like maybe a few months into my stay in Korea, I don't know, like within the year. I lived in Korea for three and a half years, um, but there was a portion of that where my hair was super short. And so from going from that to what you see now. I specifically wore my hair down so you guys could see the difference. Yes, there was a drastic difference. So I'm gonna share with you guys that whole process. Um, I'm using my mic today because there are planes flying overhead, there is noise, there are people flushing toilets and walking, you know, in upstairs, so I figured you guys would be able to hear me better. Sorry if it's distracting, you know, this fluff. This is the closest I can get to a puppy. Um, and you can already tell that I don't have a script because this, ten this tends to happen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so when I first went to Korea, I was wearing my hair I would straighten my hair, but I would twist it at night so that it would kind of be curly wavy and I was still using a straightener. Let me tell you, you don't need that much. And I would say this about a lot of things if you're trying to figure out packing, packing tips, you don't need that much. So I hope that in this video, through the whole video, you realize you don't need that much. <laughs> That's like the whole point of this video if you want to just get over with it. <laughs> so when I went to Korea, I took my straightener because I was still straightening my hair at the time. I don't straighten my hair anymore. Um, I took Shea Moisture because I was using Shea Moisture at the time. And I probably took like a shampoo and conditioner, but Probably not, I don't know. I'm really, I've never been stuck on one product. First, I wanna say that I've never had a perm because I get a lot of people asking, um, when did I go natural? I've never permed my hair, so I've never had to like cut it and then grow it out to get all the chemicals out, so I've never had a perm. But I used to straighten my hair like two or three times a week. But I did wanna at least bring something so if you're looking to keep some products with you, take what you desperately feel you need. But like I said, you really don't need much. <laughs> okay, so what I would say to my younger self now is to take this one item because this is all you're gonna really need. Well, you don't even need to take this. You can buy it there. This is olive oil. I love to use olive oil in my hair and I also love jojoba oil, but you don't need to bring these with you because you can find oils there. And so my first basic tip is to learn how to simplify your hair routine so that you don't need many items. Seriously, now that I have experience traveling, I don't take anything really except possibly this. <laughs> and I can buy, I'm not stuck, oh, I have oily hands now. I'm, I'm not stuck on any shampoos. I'm not stuck on any conditioners. I don't care too much if what kind of oil I use, except I'm not a big fan of coconut oil because it makes my hair very stiff and brittle. And there is a reason for that. It's um, about the proteins in your hair. I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna read about that, if you have the same situation. But try to figure out what is it that you wanna do with your hair when you get there so that you can start doing it now. 
you need to get a routine going so that when you get there it's like hassle free and if there's any advice i could give you it's to really just lessen the amount of products you use because it sucks to be so dependent on a product and not be able to find it it's like being a child and having to wait for your mom to feed you when you can just grow up and be an adult and not need your mom to feed you <laughs> i don't know why i use that analogy okay but anyway so the first tip yes eliminate as much as you can and get a routine before you go that's not something i did i kind of evolved as i was in korea but that's just advice for my little younger charlie another thing that i did is i stopped using straighteners not you know pressing hair not uh putting heat to hair i don't put any heat on my hair i don't put any like chemical products in my hair i am open to using shea moisture but i don't use it at the moment i don't even think i have any on me i'm seriously down to this oil <laughs> like that's how little little it's gone oil and conditioner is all i'm using i'm not even going to tell you what conditioner i'm using because it doesn't matter um that's not anything that's going to help grow your hair because i just seriously use it to detangle my hair in the shower and then i wash it out really quickly there's no secret to this madness it just i pretty much simplified my routine to where it's very simple i don't even do much to my hair on a regular basis i let my hair be and that is my next tip don't make a fuss about your hair too much let your hair be i don't know if this is a tip or this is just me talking about what i do for myself anyone who really knows me knows i don't bother with my hair a lot i don't mess with it a lot and that is like my biggest tip to grow your hair faster is to stop doing stuff to it we like try and do all these little things to it and change it and twist it and all this kind of stuff let your hair be and a lot of people say oh you're neglecting your hair i just say i let my hair do its own thing you can call it neglect but i have achieved some results with my hair and it's not that i was trying to because a lot of people think oh your hair could be so much longer and um all these things but you have to realize that i don't really care <laughs> um don't try not to focus so much a lot of people get so caught up on the hair like oh i can't wait for it to grow oh my gosh it has it grown do a length check a lot of people tell me to do a length check i don't do that um, i have shown in the video how long my hair was when i was in korea um, more recently um, because i was showing you how to detangle your hair and if you want to see the process of how i detangle my hair and the whole process i'll link that video in the description i don't worry about the length i just let my hair naturally do its own thing i typically wear it up in this like bun or i sometimes will do twists at night so i will do my hair in sections like twists i will untwist it and then i'll wash each twist and retwist it and watch wash each section so that's what i would do and then i would twist it back up with the oil and let it be i don't focus so much on oh my gosh my hair has grown so much but i know you guys notice and i don't notice really until you guys notice and i think that is a big part if you stress too much stress can make your hair fall out so don't stress so much and don't use a lot of products and don't fool around with your hair so much and there you go that is pretty much how i grew my hair in south korea some places that you might want to go if you're into hairstyles like some people like weaves i did try wearing weaves for about five to six months while i was in korea and i went to itaewon if you're interested you just go to itaewon it's a location in korea walk around there are tons of african shops doing hair for braids weaves like cornrows all kinds of stuff they there are some people who are um, experienced with dreadlocks all kinds of stuff go to itaewon i wouldn't recommend trying to buy stuff in itaewon like hair products 
bring all the products you need to Korea with you for however long you're planning to stay. Eliminate as much as you can so that you're not dependent on these products. I feel so free to be able to go to any country I want and be like, where's your nearest oil? What kind of oil do you have? Because it's, it's so freeing. You don't need all of that stuff. You don't need all of those things to try and grow your hair. There's really like, it's so simple. And that's like the basic part of this video that I want to say is growing your hair can be so simple, but we just complicate it. Um, another thing that I would do is detangle infrequently, but I would detangle and I still continue to do that. Just not frequently. I don't mess with my hair a lot. Um, I wouldn't recommend you let it get to the point that I let it get to. <laughs> um, but I would recommend detangling, get a schedule. This is something I can't stick to, but I would love for you guys to do get a schedule and stick to that schedule of detangling. I only finger detangle. I don't use, well, occasionally I will use a comb, but it's very, very rare. I like to stick to finger detangling with my oil, either jojoba oil, which is expensive. So I, that's like my preferred oil if I was rich, <laughs> but I like to stick to my basic extra virgin olive oil. What I would do a lot for my routine is I would go to the Jim Jobang. I love going to the Jim Jobang, even though I know a lot of people think you get stared at um, because you're naked, you're a black foreigner with this huge afro. People want to touch you, <laughs> they stare at you, you know. But I was so comfortable at the Jim Jobang. It was my happy place. That was the place I went to to do my hair. So I would recommend some sort of routine. For me, it was getting a bag of stuff. You know, I had my oil, I had my comb for if I needed it. I had any other thing that I felt like I needed, hair ties, bobby pins. I would take that to the Jim Jobang, maybe a snack, some kimbap, get something simple and easy. I would buy shike when I got there. It's like a little drink that you can buy. It's like sugar and rice. And I had my little routine going, I loved it. So I would go there, I would sit down. They had these little stools that you could sit at and you could sit and wash your body. I would sit there for hours, seriously, and detangle my hair. And once I detangled it, I would, I would do it in sections. I would detangle and I would rinse and put some, some conditioner in or shampoo if I was using shampoo at that time. Um, and I would do my hair there and then I would stand up and go to the actual standing up showers. And then I would do the same thing but standing and like a little bit more thoroughly. So that's what I would do. Then I would twist up my hair with some oil and then roll it up into like a bantu type knot and I would sleep with it overnight and then in the morning I would undo it and voila. Sometimes I would leave it for two or three days so that it could like fully dry and my hair was done. It's really so simple, like I wish someone would have told me this when I was younger. Um, and you know, when I first went to Korea, a lot of people commented on my videos talking about like, oh, you need to take better care of your hair. Like and it's really unfortunate because a lot of this was coming from black girls who were either natural or not natural. It doesn't matter. But um, a lot of them ridiculed me because my hair was not uh, wash and go material. After coming to Korea, I really have like, appreciated being black and being me and not that I haven't pr appreciated being black but I mean like I really am proud of like who I am of my hair like of my skin color I love my skin color I love the texture of my hair I liked my hair I liked letting my hair do its own thing you guys are beautiful the way you are and letting it be is one of the best things you can do and then stepping in every once in a while to detangle simply wash and put a little oil in. Don't be afraid to spritz your hair with water and let it be. I hope that this helped a little bit. I'm gonna leave the links to my video on how I specifically 
detangle, wash, everything. I show you guys an example, but I just wanted to talk you guys through a few things, like a few thoughts that I had on my whole process, because a lot of people overthink it. They think you have to bring tons of products to Korea. You have to do all these steps. It's really so basic and so simple as using one oil and figuring out how you're going to detangle your hair and that's as simple as that. It's really not a big process. It's not this whole, you know, there's no secret ingredient. And I know maybe you're disappointed because you would prefer there to be like one ingredient that I can tell you to grow your hair. But it's really that simple as you don't need anything special. I'm not here to sell a product. I'm not even selling this oil. So yeah, that's how simple it is. It's very basic and I hope that this video helped you guys to understand how simple it can be. Please give this video a like if it helped you and also if you want to see my everyday makeup routine, the link for that will be in the description also. We need still about 100 likes before I show you guys how I do my makeup, so be sure to check that. And comment below any other hair type videos about being natural or natural while traveling that you would like to hear. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Charlie. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my natural hair routine. So let's get started. <laughs> 